Graph the inequality x is less than negative 5. Well, we know from back in the day that anything that is x is equal to some number is going to be a vertical line. Well, there's a little change here. This is an x is equal to a negative 5. This is x is less than. However, that doesn't change anything. This is going to be a vertical line, and it's going to go through negative 5. Now, this is where we have to be careful. Look at the symbol. The symbol is less than. It's not less than or equal to. So when we graph an inequality that is either less than or greater than, you graph a dashed line. So I'm going to choose this dashed line and have it go through negative 5. The dashed line means that the line doesn't count. You're not allowed to include any points on this line right here. Now, the other thing that you look at when you graph an inequality is the symbol, and that tells you which side you need to shade. I have x is less than negative 5, which means I'm going to shade everything to the left of negative 5 because it's to the left of negative 5. That's what less than means. Now, what this means is I can choose any point in this green shaded region, and that'll give me a true statement. So what that might look like, and this might seem bizarre, but bear with me here. Like if I choose negative 6, 0, negative 6, 0, I would label u the x and u the y. And I would go over here and say, all right, well, let's plug in negative 6 for x and 0 for y. So negative 6 for x. And wait a minute, there is no y. Exactly. So don't worry about it. You get negative 6 is less than negative 5, which is a true statement. So since we don't care about the y's, the y's really don't matter. You're just going to plug in the uh, x value that you get. So anything to the left of negative 5 is going to be a possible solution no matter the y. And that's how you graph an inequality when you're given just one letter to use. The end.